Okay, hey guys, this is Mark here from PixelFiendTech.com and today I'm going to be showing you my two favourite free 3D design tools. Okay, so the first one of these most people will heard of and it is called SketchUp. Now this used to be owned by Google and then it was bought over by another company so now it is simply called SketchUp. So you can see I can open it up here and you have this really nice design and this is a really simple program to start with and it's just really easy to draw your shapes and start building what you want to build. So um, this program is more aimed at architects um, and the main downside of this is when you go into save as you should be able to see here it only um, it only saves in these formats so you don't have quite as much selection as some other programs but that's not really what I'm interested in so what I'm gonna do is build you a quick house here so you can see I just selected that rectangle tool and drew out a rectangle now to make this kind of go up in the air you select this push pull tool hover over it click hold and pull up then if I select the orbit tool you can see I can fly around and you can see the beginnings of my house so of course my house needs a doorway so again I will select the, re the rectangle tool draw myself a doorway then I will select select that and press the delete key on my keyboard now you can start to see inside my house now how about a fancy circular window so I will just draw this on the side and you know what, um, I think, if I just zoom out there, I think that that's not quite in the middle. So to move it, all you do is select this tool, and then uh, you need to make sure this is selected first, actually. So select that, grab the Move tool, and you can see I can move it around. So somewhere like that looks better. Then all I do is press the Delete key, and you should be able to see here, I have a nice window that looks into my house. Now, not many houses really have flat roofs, do they? Now, most houses probably have a sort of triangular design, but I want to go different. I'll go for a curved design. So what I will do is t take this arc tool, and I'm going to click on the end here, and go across here, and then I'm just going to go up okay so now I'm going to orbit around so I have a better angle grab my push pull tool and you can see I can just pull it across and there it will snap onto the end point so you can see here I have my nice little house and you can see that was extremely simple to design so this program really does work very easily now up here what you can do is get models and you click on that and there are tons of things that other people have designed so you have things like Lamborghinis, you have huge houses um, tons of different types of cars things like that and you can just download that play with it um, another thing you can do is if you go up into windows you can open up components which gives you things like um, you can add dogs you can add a door you can add a bed here so if I do if I think um, I'm not actually used to using these, but I think if I just, uh, yes, here we go. So there we go. I can place that in my house. Now you can see that through the window. I now have a bed in my house. Um, you can also go into window materials. And this is kind of like coloring in, I suppose you could say. So you can choose colors, fencing, things like that so um, I'm going to go on to stone and select uh, this for the side of my house then you can just see it opens up the paint bucket tool I can do that um, roofing for the top and let's go for some tiles there and you can see it gives it that texture now obviously I haven't done the whole of the house so the rest is still just that basic color but it just gives you that slight more customizability over your design so this really is a very great tool especially considering it is free it's extremely easy to use and just brilliant for beginners um so that is sketchup 
Next up, I'm going to speak about a slightly less famous one called 1-2-3-D Design. <coughs> this is another free tool and it is more aimed at your 3D printers. So you can see the layout, you have all these different things up at the top and here you have your kind of view, so you can see here we are looking at it from this angle. If I click on the top, you can see the camera angle moves. And then of course I have my orbit tool so that I can do things like that and yeah, move around till it is in a nice position. So I'm going to do is show you one of the great features of this tool where you can just go select a shape. Uh, so I'll just put a sphere here and I can just put the shape wherever I want. And then if I select my orbit tool, I can orbit around and if I want, I can edit this sh um, the shape. So uh, I don't actually use this very much, but you should be able to see at the bottom there, it asks me for the radius. Um, I'll just here. So if I change that to that you can see it gets extremely big so what I'm going to do is change it to 20 and you can see there the radius is certainly a lot bigger than the one next to it so that is certainly handy now if I actually just do new here then um, I will show you something else that you can do so with these lines here you can do things like just free draw things like that but I'm going to do polyline so what I'm actually going to do is go to top view and scroll scroll over a bit and then use my scroll wheel to zoom out. So then I'm going to go back onto the polyline here and I'm going to select my first point. Then what I can do is you can see here I have my line. Now what I can actually do is type in the measurements into these boxes um, and I can also type in an angle. So again that is very handy but I'm just going to do it between the boxes and make a kind of boring shape. Let's make this a funny angle. So you can see here, I can just put these lines wherever I want and then take it back to the start. Now what I'm going to do is uh, go around to the side. I will actually orbit up a bit if I can. I'm just twisting in circles here. Um, so then what I will do is go over to construct and extrude then I simply hover over it and then drag upwards uh, just need to click on this again and you can see here I can drag that upwards and there is my shape then I can of course edit that so if I go back onto orbit you can uh, just select that um, you should be able to see that this uh, I just need to get rid of this extrude thing so uh, I'll just select something else here okay so for if I just place this here um, okay so here I'm back on orbit now the orbit function as you may be seeing here doesn't seem to work quite as well in Google SketchUp and um, just the design of it and you can see there I never actually noticed that before but there seems to be a kind of sun so you can see the reflection there um, and this is certainly very good for designing things and it also kind of does show you it in the kind of platform that you would be 3D printing on and I believe it does save in those files so if I go over here and do if I just do new save you should be able to see once this loads <coughs> that you have a selection of oh, you need to sign in so I will do that later but you do have a selection of different ways that you can save this I will just go to my computer yes okay so you can see here this has the 123d but I believe there are other ways you can save it um, so uh, yes here you can do export to STL which is a very good file type so um, I will just see the orbit tool you have to be within the circle that's on the screen I'm just not really used to using that so that's why I'm not under full control but anyway you can see here the shape turned out just kind of how I designed it you really can design and draw anything on this um, and to be honest it is a brilliant tool for just that 
uh, in my opinion, it's a lot more exact with the measurements and things. Well, I know you can put measurements into Google SketchUp, but it just seems like a more kind of exact thing, whereas SketchUp, kind of in the name, is just for sketching. Personally, I prefer using SketchUp just because of the layout and things like that, though that does not mean I don't, I dislike 123D Design. It is a brilliant piece of software and I do actually really like using it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If it helped you, please give it a like, a share and also subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you very much for watching. See you. Thank <laughs> you.